All right, I got out my big trusty HP power supply here, um, and a 6286A uh, supply to work on my uh, my uh, 30 watt amplifier. And guess what? It died. <laughs> it died. It won't work. Uh, so if I turn it on, it doesn't. Okay, make a liar out of me. Now it's working. I swear it's dead. <laughs> okay, okay, so let's put it on 12 volts. Okay, and we'll turn the current down and we'll do a short circuit on it. And it won't supply any current. It won't supply any current. Let's see here. Two amps at zero volts. Oh, come on. Really? <laughs> really? Yeah, this. Oop, it just did something. Now we're 12 volts and zero. Oh, my uh, clip leads fell apart. Okay, so here we'll turn the current down to two amps. Voltage is zero. For some reason, it's just not supplying any current. And uh, it was acting funny on volts yesterday when I was playing with it. It's acting funny on volts as well. Let's see. We'll try small voltage. We'll try uh, here. Here's five volts. We'll see if it can supply five volts. No. Uh, is it? Cro is this? This should. This should be okay. Let me get out a big resistor. All right. Here's a good resistor. Let's hook him up. And we've got, let's see, this is amps. Yes, it won't supply any amps. And it won't supply any volts. The best it'll do is, uh, that's just nuts. 10 volts, 10 volts at, at no amps. It won't go above one amp. Oh, I want to go above one amp. What am I doing wrong? Am I doing anything? Am I being dumb? I don't think so. I think this thing's busted. Hmm. Okay, let's turn the voltage down. With it. No, turn the voltage up. Oh, the current goes up if I turn the voltage up. I can... The most, the most I can get out of this thing is just over two amps. And it's making really funny sounds. I don't know if you can hear that. It goes and then purring. <laughs> My power supply is purring. Yeah, there's something wrong with this thing. Uh, so, you know, you do one project and it leads you to another project. Oh, well, they're all fun, right? All project, yeah, it's a little bit warm. Um, all projects are fun. <laughs> Keep saying that. That's your mantra. Every time something breaks, yeah, it doesn't matter. All projects are fun. I don't think I'm having fun, but it'll be okay. <laughs> All right, let's take a look inside this thing. It's got the giant capacitor. It's got the biggest, world's biggest capacitor. Maybe not. It's got a big one. It's like six inches long and four inches in diameter. It's giant. Another another good size one there, but this is a bruiser. He's a big one. Uh, he is 33,000 microfarads. Computer grade. That's what they used to call those big blue ones. Yeah, they were computer grade. I don't know what made them special about computers, but uh, look at this transformer. <laughs> it eats up about 25% of the whole of the whole power supply. Unless linear power supplies at their best. A little bit of rust on him, but he's okay. Um, yeah, yeah. So you might think that these power supplies would be trivial to work on because it's a power supply. Somebody made it. Somebody made a comment a couple of videos ago on. Um, yeah, you think troubleshooting power supplies is trivial and then they just kick your butt. So, um, yeah, let me kind of show you why this one might kick my butt. Uh, hopefully it won't be too bad. Let's take a look at the, uh, let's take a look at the schematic. Is that too? Okay. Um, I'm gonna pointer. Okay, so the problem with these power supplies is they're not normal. <laughs> You would think that, okay, they have a, uh, 
They have a thing here to measure the voltage. So there's an op amp. This is a differential pair to measure the voltage. And they have a differential pair to measure the, uh, to measure the current, which is uh, up here. This one measures the current. This one measures the voltage. They go into a, uh, an error amplifier that, that uh, looks at both of them. Are, are you too high in current? Are you too high in voltage? And it'll then turn these guys off. These series transistors are on all the time until you turn them off. So it's standard, standard, standard stuff. Okay. And then there's some stuff for the meter and some other things. Okay. But this one has this fancy circuit from uh, Harrison Laboratories. Harrison invented this really cool circuit here, which is a it's a pre-regulator and it is uh, very, very clever. Um, so you don't want to always be dropping all of the voltage all of the time. You would like to have the input match the output. So if you're going to, let's say, force five volts, you'd have the input at seven volts. If you wanted to force 10 volts, you'd have the input at 12 volts. Some power supplies, I've shown one of those before, have several taps on the transformer, and then they'll have switching. They'll have relays that switch in the different taps. Well, this one does something even fancier. It uses SCRs. And these SCRs um, basically will pulse width modulate the input. Yeah, pulse. Yeah, and it's not exactly pulse width modulation, but it's width modulation. It's AC width modulation. So you can imagine if you have an AC signal, okay, and you send that whole AC signal through a, uh, I can't, there's, there's a little dot, or uh, let me put something up, put something hard under there. That doesn't matter. Anyway, if you put something um, like a sine wave this thing, you'll get rectification over this one and over this one, okay? Well, um, what if you could only use half of each waveform? So you only use the power under that and the, under that, then half of the power would be going into your smoothing capacitor. And so this would, and then you could use some percentage of the waveform. So this is pulse, not pulse width, but sine wave width modulation. So you're only going to select a portion of the sine wave to uh, charge up the capacitor. So it's, 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 uh, it's like PWM, but um, it's done with these SCRs. So where are the SCRs? Well, the SCRs are in the bridge rectifier. So one half of the bridge rectifier are regular diodes, but the other half of the bridge rectifier are SCRs. So you can turn them on and up. So imagine that one diode is is turning it on and one diode is turning it off. That's what these two do. And, and so you've got two diodes that run the top half and two diodes that run the bottom half. And then one of those diodes is actually programmable by how much time it's allowed to be on. Okay. It's a, it's like a dimmer circuit. And so, yeah, so these SCRs are in the uh, plus side of the bridge rectifier and uh, they are controlled with this transformer. So this transformer can turn those guys on and off. So how do you turn them on and off? Well, you monitor the waveform and you monitor the waveform by these two bridges here and then you program in some. So it's going to find the voltage uh, that it wants to be, let's say it always wants to be two volts more than the output. It's going to get that information from somewhere. I haven't, I haven't looked at this yet, but it'll, it'll get that information from somewhere and it will then, uh, uh, either turn these diodes on or not. Uh, that's basically what these SCRs are going to be gated, gated diodes. Another way to, to maybe think of these is, is gated diodes. Now, if they went bad, they wouldn't be charging that capacitor up at the right time and they wouldn't be giving you the current. So my suspicion is that this power supply probably has a fault in the SCR control. And I have never troubleshot one of those before, so it will be interesting. So where's that big giant capacitor? It's right here. 
Um, let's see if I can mark him with something. Uh, here's a good one. So that big giant capacitor, 33,000 microfarads is right there. So that's that's our raw voltage. And then and then these these two transistors here are the pass. OK, they're in parallel because there's lots of current. This is a 10 amp power supply. So each one of those um, big transistors is, is needed to do five amps each. So the path here is that you go from this capacitor through those guys and then you go right to the output and then uh, the amount of current, so your current monitoring is done with these two resistors here in parallel. So they are point, point 0.2 ohms. So together they are point 0.1 ohms and they're both 40 watts. So you've got 80 watts of point 0.1 ohms right there. And they go up into this current uh, uh, differential pair here to measure the amount of current, measure the voltage across that thing. And then the return path to the bottom side of this capacitor is directly out. So there's nothing in the return path, okay? Nothing in the return path. Every, all regulation and monitoring, everything is done in the forward direction. A lot of these old um, Harrison things do things in the bottom side. They regulate the bottom side, the return path, instead of the top side. But this one is regulating the top side. And that makes my brain happy. I like doing those power supplies. Okay, so um, one idea I have is to figure out how to fool these two SCRs to be on all the time and then see if the whole thing works. If the whole thing then works, then I'll know that it's this pre-regulation uh, that needs fixing. So I need to figure that out.